Hey there, and welcome back to STL-TV Live. Joining me in the studio now is Katherine Nahorski. She's the Assistant Director of the Jacoby Arts Center in Alton, Illinois, and she's here to talk about the seventh annual juried exhibition. Before we get to that, Katherine, though, I think a bunch of our viewers are wondering who and what the Jacoby Arts Center is. Well, the Jacoby Arts Center has been in Alton for seven years, and the organization originally was founded as the Madison County Arts Council in 1981. So we are celebrating 30 years of bringing arts to communities in and around Madison County. Which is amazing because I think Alton is a destination for many St. Louisans, you know, on this side of the river to go over there. And so to have a nice home called the Jacoby Arts Center now that you've been in seven years has been great for tourists, right? Well, it is absolutely fabulous. And uh, seven years ago, we were looking for a place to call home. And we didn't realize we would find such a big home, but we were donated a building by the Jacoby family that is right off Clark Bridge and uh, Landmarks Boulevard. So if you're visiting Alton or happen to be going up the River Road, you'll see our logo on the back of the building. And uh, we hope you'll uh, take a moment to drive around front and visit us. That's perfect. I'm glad you said that, Catherine, the River Road, because I think Prior to you coming on, we had uh, a gentleman from TrailNet with us, and he was talking mm -hmm. about bicycling. So I'm sure there's a lot of cyclists that come through. So put that on your stop if you're cycling through. Yes, <laughs> please Arts do. Center. Yes, we'll give you some cold <laughs> water or whatever you need to refresh. Perfect. So the Jacoby Arts Center is located on East Broadway in Il Alton, Illinois, and they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 5, and even on Sundays from 12 to 4. And if you want more information, you can call 618 462 5222. The Jacoby is a great website because the Jacoby Arts Center does a lot more than just exhibits. Talk about that. Well, we do have a retail shop that represents uh, artists throughout the region in their work. We have a music program that is the second Friday and the last Saturday night of uh, the month. Wow. Does that go year round? That goes year round. Great. Yeah, so that's fun and, and bringing in regional talent. Yeah. And yeah, so that's great fun. We have education in the arts for both children and adults uh, in the building and outside the building. <laughs> uh, we also uh, re run a granting program that is in partnership with the Illinois Arts Council. And we apply for funding from the Illinois Arts Council and run our own grant program into 17 counties in wow. Illinois. So we do work in a partnership with them. Keep some art programs going in yes, some other communities yes, then right. with that. Yes, okay. yes. So it's beyond us. It is also our mission to support arts wherever we can. And um, we also are very proud to be a part of Poetry Out Loud, which is a national a uh, recitation program for high school students and that also is uh, through the Illinois Arts Council but we do we get schools involved high school students involved and uh, host a regional competition then they go to state and then a winner goes to DC to participate uh, with all the other how states fun. so yeah, yeah how fun it's for a you. very how exciting much, program yeah. how involved do you get to be with that well, and they the won't fly up. us to D.C. No, but you get to read the poetry, though. <laughs> right. Oh, stuff. yes, it's oh, excellent. And the high school students, it is so moving. Yeah. They are so moving. So it's to learn great pro po 19th and 20th century poetry. It's a perfect... Yeah. It, yes. So art, we're talking, it doesn't have to be just visual arts. We've talked about performing arts with music. Mm -hmm. We've talked about visual arts. And, of course, the spoken word or yes. written arts, yes. which is awesome. We're going to be back with more with Catherine in just a moment because we want to tell you about this awesome new exhibit that's going on right now at the Jacoby Art Center when we come back. In the meantime, though, Catherine mentioned a lot of great things that are going on over in Illinois. If you want to keep up with what's going on around the St. Louis area, remember to friend us on Facebook. That's STL TV on Facebook. Don't look for us on there and on Twitter and on our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Keep it locked right here because we're going to be right back with more STL TV Live. Hey there, 
and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman hanging out in the STL TV studios in Forest Park. And with me is Catherine Nahorski, the assistant director of the Jacoby Arts Center, which is located over in Alton, Illinois. We've been talking about some of the things you guys do in terms of programs and outreach, but you also have your seventh annual juried exhibit going on right now. Talk about that. Well, it is a, a great exhibit. It is full to the brim, and I think everyone will find something they absolutely love in the exhibit. So uh, once a year, we invite a, a curator or juror uh, from around the region, and this year it was Noah Kirby, who teaches at Washington University, and he's a sculptor. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was our juror, and he chose approximately 80 pieces out of 180 images. So it, it truly is full to the brim. And so far, everyone that has come in during the installation of the show is like, this is my favorite show. This is my favorite show. Because I think it is just so full and so fun that people are finding lots of pieces that they're falling in love with. How exciting for the artists, too. So these artists are all different ages and from all, all they, over the area? Or they, where they are from? all different ages. The show is open to artists living in Missouri and Illinois. Okay. And the majority of the artists are from the St. Louis metropolitan region, though we do have a few from uh, Champaign, Illinois, or Marshall, Missouri. Oh, and yeah. so we're, yeah, we're reaching, out, uh, reaching out a bit into some of the other areas, which is great. We would love to see more artists from outlying area. Uh, but they, you know, have to submit their work, and uh, we put out a call. They have to submit, and then the juror has to go through. But it is um, a wide range from artists. Uh, the only criteria is that you're 18 years okay. and older. So it is a wide range of artists from, you know, students to established artists um, and uh, artists who are beginning at a late stage. Uh, so, you know, it, it's great fun and it's an, it is an opportunity for artists to show in a professional venue. What different modes or mediums are, are the artists that are exhibited using? Yeah. This one is open to just about all media. So we have uh, sculpture pieces that are uh, cast pieces to uh, a delicate little mobile and paintings to ceramics to glass and some jewelry and everything oh, in between yeah everything in between art is i mean jewelry is art i just never yes. even think about it being jur it is a juried right. exhibition yes. yes yes very neat well we consider it yes an art form so we like to it definitely is okay so the the uh, seventh annual juried exhibition is taking place july 12th through august 21st you can go take a peek at it the opening reception though is happening this friday from 5 to 8 july 15th and that Jacoby Art Center is located on East Broadway in Alton, Illinois. It's right near the Clark's, right near Clark Street Bridge, yes. right near Clark, Clark Street. Bridge. So, Clark, thank you, Clark <laughs> Bridge. Um, and if you want more information, you can call 618-462-5222 or visit them online at jacobyartcenter.org. Now, you guys need uh, to raise funds. I mean, you've got a great new facility. There's a lot of volunteers involved and things like that. But I know that there's um, a, the big gig going on over at Alton coming up later this month. And you guys are going to be one of the beneficiaries of that. Yes, yes. The Alton Marketplace puts this together. And, and the Alton is considered a main street community. So that the Alton Marketplace uh, works to revitalize the small communities downtown area. And we have a beautiful, beautiful amphitheater, and that's where Big Gig will take place. Wow. And they donate a, pro, a portion of the ticket sales to Jacoby Art Center. Perfect yes. reason to go out and yes. listen to some music. Listen to those bands, maybe even vote for your favorite band while you're there on July 23rd from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. And that's at the Riverfront Amphitheater in Alton, Illinois. And if you want more information, of course, you can visit riverfrontamphitheater.com slash big gig. Catherine, it's been fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. This Absolutely. Is great. Absolutely. I think that we could all look forward to a nice, cool place to see a juried exhibit yes. of our peers from the St. Louis metro area. Thank you for being here to tell us more about it. Thank you. And if you want to know more about things going on around the city of St. Louis, the best way to know about it is to follow STL TV by friending us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and subscribe. Absolutely subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you don't do all of the above, you can at least visit us on stltv.net because we stream all of our programming live right through our website. And if you really want to experience St. Louis, you have to watch us live. We're coming back with even more information in just a few, so don't go anywhere.